Next, the magician will present a truly impossible illusion that street magicians have performed on TV. Normally, they pull a spectator out of the crowd, but the magician will use his assistant. I don't blame him. She seems up for the challenge. He displays an ordinary deck of playing cards and fans them for the girl. He tells her that he wants her to select one of the cards at random, asking her to say stop whenever she wants as he riffles the deck. Stop. And that is her chosen card, the king of clubs for this beauty queen. She places the card back into the deck as the magician shields his eyes. He shuffles the cards, making any chance of finding her card hopeless. He throws the deck against a solid plate glass window. Miraculously, one card is stuck to the glass. Look at that, the king of clubs. But wait, it's on the opposite side of the glass. He's not only found her card, he caused it to penetrate the solid window. The magician enters the room and retrieves her card from the inside of the window. Now that is an incredible trick and one that gives street magicians the credibility they need to get girls like this. I have to know his secret. So how does the magician, in plain view of his spectator, make a chosen card pass through the plate glass window? Here are the secrets. The magician shows his volunteer a deck of cards and asks her to make a random selection. The first secret, is that the selection isn't random at all. Before the trick began, the magician took a pair of scissors and sliced off the top of one card. This card will be his marker. Since it's now a quarter inch shorter than the rest of the cards, it will be easy to find. He places the marker in front of the card he wants the girl to select, in this case, the king of clubs. When he riffles the deck for the volunteer, the marker allows him to stop at the king. See? The space created by the short marker card automatically stops the riffle at his pre-selected king of clubs. A simple and foolproof way to force a card on a volunteer. Now we know that he forces the king of clubs on the girl, but how does he make it pass through the glass window? Making sure she takes the forced card is the first critical secret. Here's the next. Before the illusion began, the magician obtained an extra king of clubs. One card was placed behind the short marker card. The other was handed to an accomplice, who went off to hide on the other side of the glass window. There's the accomplice, and here's how she hides. The next secret is this container of clear wax. A small ball of this wax acts as an adhesive, allowing the face of this card to stick to the glass. As the volunteer places the card back in the magician's deck, the magician is careful to distract her for a few seconds. This is when the hidden accomplice takes the duplicate card and sticks it to the window with the wax. Then, the magician throws the deck at the exact spot where the card was placed by the accomplice. From this backstage angle, we can see that the card is in place well before the magician throws the deck. From this high angle, we can see the timing of the accomplice and how the magician keeps the volunteer looking at him until the cards hit the glass. The incredible card through window isn't so incredible when you know the secrets.